Okay, this is uh, another one of those little, I got it upside down, I've already torn it apart. Galaxy DX44V, little export radio. It's a low power rig, it's an early version. Uh, so multi-band thing comes on 10 meters when you get it. It's, um, this one does AM and FM, so it would be, you could have a lot of fun up on the, uh, you can't do splits, not without some work. I'm sure you could, uh, I'm sure you could do some mods to the thing to make it operate split, but you could have a lot of fun on 29, uh, 500, 29, 600 operating FM simplex or in the AM window 29, 0 to 29, 200. Anyway, this one had no power output. I jumped ahead on this video a little bit. I took the uh, RF probe there. It's old boon and that thing came over on the Mayflower, but it is wonderful. I keep uh, got a little 50 ohm interface and all that. But anyway, um, poked around in the uh, end of the section. Driver was working, PA was not. I went ahead and popped both loose to test to see if the driver was leaky or anything. Driver was fine. Use a 2SC 1969 which is almost unobtainium. If I can get this thing to focus on here. There you go, 1969. So anyway, a uh, quick ohm meter test actually showed that it failed. It had a base to, uh, base to emitter open, but it also had a uh, collector to uh, emitter leakage, a tremendous amount. So anyway, there you have it. Just a quick down and dirty test on that. Uh, I'm going to do a full receiver alignment and uh, transmitter alignment on it while I have it, but Try to clean it up a little bit, but it's, um, I believe that's probably all that's going to be wrong with this one.